and welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite Dolphin Danny, and today we're looking at Brawl from uh, Transformers Combiner Wars. Now, this is really cool. This is the last um, Combaticon that I needed to form Bruticus, so I'll be doing a Bruticus video in the near future. So let me know um, down in the comments if you know where to get that upgrade kit for the Bruticus, because I heard that makes it a lot easier and better. Maybe I'll get that upgrade kit before I make the video of putting them together. So let me know where to get that upgrade kit, because I don't really know. <laughs> and this is the G1 Brawl. I actually really like this G1 Brawl. I had the G2 Brawl, and that came in the purple and the green, just like the big G2 Megatron. So it was kind of like he was the baby version. I don't know. I really liked that as a kid and thought that was really cool. I never had the G1 version, but I did like this guy a lot. Brawl is pretty cool. This figure is, they've done a good job on it. Um, the only part that sucks that a lot of people complain about is just the torso. He just doesn't stay like... I don't know, if you're playing with him a lot, he'll come loose in the middle and just kind of flop over. But, yeah. <laughs> He's a cool guy. Um, you know, lots of, in the G1, like, wiki, you know, and in the description of him, it says stuff like, you know, everyone, like, fears him because he's got, like, you know, he's just ready to pull the trigger and kill everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, he can't, you can always hear him. He's really noisy when he approaches, obviously, because he's a tank. But, yeah, he just likes to shoot. And, yeah, some of the other Combaticons kind of worry about it. Like, um, as long as they're not doing a stealth mission, they'll bring him along type of thing. <laughs> and, yeah, he was also featured in the G1 show and stuff like that so that's awesome Marvel Comics he does have enough play in quite a bit of things there is a lot of Brawl fans out there they had Brawl of course in the Transformers uh, movies but it just wasn't the same he wasn't a part of the Combaticons or anything but yeah all in all I love this figure um, we'll get right into the figure and yeah soon we'll build that Bruticus so let me know about that and yeah let's get right into Brawl all right, let's check out Brawl from the Combiner Wars series. Definitely, it comes with a comic. That's really cool. And yeah, you can see him pretty clearly here. I'll strap down how I like it. And Combiner Wars, there's the comic it comes with. Really awesome, it comes with a comic. Shows the transformation and the co combining form on the back, but we slice him out of there. And yeah, here is the comic book. Lots of cool art. I mean, I've gotten more into comic books lately. I haven't done anything on the channel on them, but I just like to pick up the few uh, gaming or Transformer comic books that I find in the wild. So, amazing art. Of course, he comes with the handy-dandy instructions if you need them. He's not too hard to transform, though. And yeah, we'll check him out. Old Brawl. There is the cool little, uh, you know, shot of the tank mode, which is really done really well. We'll snip him out of there, old snippity snap snipperoo. <laughs> Oh, and there's this foot when you combine him to form Bruticus. So once again, let me know down in the comments where to get that uh, thing to upgrade the upgrade kit for him. So yeah, he looked right out of the packaging. Uh, he's very cool. I like Brawl. I liked my G2 Brawl I had as a kid. His head sculpt is fantastic. It just brings back so many memories. They did a great job on these guys. Combiner figures can be a little hit or miss because, you know, the, they combine, so they suffer sometimes. But yeah, his arms, you can swivel in the old 360 and get that old 360 uh, spin. His knees bend perfectly up and down. And yeah, very nice. Little foot movement there, nothing forward, but a little side to side. But you can get some pretty cool, cool poses out of this guy, as he is. And he just looks pretty fantastic. I do really like him. Um, yeah, he looks good on the shelf. He looks good next to his G1 counterpart. And yeah, he is just brawl, you know. Lots of people like brawl from, you know, they didn't do him well in the Michael Bay movies. Some people like that brawl, but, you know, I like this brawl. Of course, he has a backpack. The original G1 figure has a backpack as well, so it's kind of part of the character. And the side treads and the arm, it just looks fantastic. And the Decepticon insignia, put his little gun in his hand. <laughs> Yeah, he is, he's just awesome. I can't, if you love Combiners, if you love uh, the Combaticons, I would highly suggest picking up this figure and yeah, getting these guys once you can. I did come across these guys on a deal, so I picked them all up, but yeah, these guys can be a little more expensive now as you can't find them stocked up on the shelves. But I love the Combaticons. I'd love to get that G2 set. That would be amazing, the original G2 set. So, yeah. And there is a G2 color scheme of this figure as well as Bruticus. And we'll transform him. He was in tank mode. Lovely tank mode. Kind of did this backwards, but hey, what can you do? Pull his legs out like so. <laughs> and, yeah, pull his other leg out like so. <laughs> and snip it in there and yeah you can just pull his arms out like that little hands pop out so yeah 
really cool, pretty easy transformation, but yeah. It's just the middle of this figure, it doesn't really stay clicked in on the hips, so it can be a little annoying, but once you get the hang of it, it's like, you know, as a kid playing with this figure, it might be annoying, but like, you know, just having this guy on the shelf, it's fine, but yeah, try to get them all together right there. So that's pretty fantastic. He's an awesome figure. Uh, like I said, Combaticons, Bruticus, Unite! But yeah, and the Unite Wars version, awesome. But yeah, I think he is so fantastic and it's about that time to dance. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video and I highly appreciate it. I love doing these Transformer vids. So many more Transformer stuff in the works so stay tuned for that. Lots of videos in the works as always and yeah just trying to feel great, make content and have a blast because I love you all, love doing this and yeah tell me what you think about this figure down below. Let's have a chit chat and soon we'll have that Broody Kiss video out and yeah that's really awesome so I hope you enjoyed this and yeah I'll catch you later. <laughs> stay strong, stay safe, stay positive and um yeah maybe catch me on Cybertron, y'all. Goodbye.